so um, I'm sure you've all been wondering, you know, where's all the videos and the streams um, in the past week and a bit, and um, well, the state of the channel in December is as follows. On last Thursday I had been preparing all week to do a full class presentation, so that took a week. Um, I have another presentation due on to be done on by Monday, and then another presentation due the week next. So hopefully that answers the question of I'm doing my masters and I've been doing it for the past two years, another year to go after this one. Um, and there's going to be periods in the year where I literally can't stream or do anything because I'm too busy doing assignments, coursework, etc, etc, etc. There is some good news, however, is that next week there should be a gap um, on Tuesday evening and Wednesday to where I'll be able to stream a game that I've been streaming before. Um, Project Women comes out fully on Tuesday. On Tuesday, so I'll stream it on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then the rest of the week will be devoted to me preparing for my presentation. Um, and at that point, December will be over for me in terms of coursework and assignments to do. So, then there'll be the odd Armored Warfare stream, but I'll be concentrating ma majority on doing Cyberpunk 2077. Now, um, another thing I'd like to address is the reason why my Armored Warfare content hasn't been particularly exciting or special recently. And that is because with the advent of 0.33, Balance 3.0, as we know, the game has become progressively less fun and more difficult to really have that more standout games that you will know me for. As essentially speaking, the butchery of the um, skill gap between players, such as myself, who is a high level blue, um, means that I can't really use my knowledge of the game to what well anymore. For instance, MBTs went from having a um, if I was a, if I was in a, um, a missile carrier, I'll be able to fire at the engine deck, or the turret roof, or the hull roof, or a turret ring, and a mantle, um, a hull roof. But now it's basically always just the lower plate, so it has become that progressively more difficult for me, someone who plays AFEs and light tanks the most to be able to really have those standout games anymore because it's now significantly more difficult for me to do damage. And MBTs as well, well the, di well, the tier difference between MBTs is basically nil. They all shoot themselves in lower play, that's it. So, yeah. Um, I will be relying somewhat heavily on pre-3.0 content. I have about... Um, let's see here... Uh, I have about... 67 videos worth of content to go through, so we'll be good for then. So, yeah. I mean, I'll still be streaming AW at least once a week with regards to PvE and perhaps PvP as well. Sorry, the other way around, PvP, I'm a PvP player. Uh -huh. I don't like glops, so I don't really like PvE that much. So, yeah. I'll be doing the odd community stream where anybody is free to join, but for the majority speaking, um, I think I'll start to do PvP on my own since that's when I seem to function best for whatever reason. Um, yeah, that's about it for now. So, Project Women on the 1st and the 2nd. Um, and then the... Eighth and the ninth will be armored, and then either the eighth or the ninth will be armored warfare, probably a PVE stream, and then the tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, maybe will all be Cyberpunk 2077. Now I will be playing the game during those days when I'm not streaming, so there will be a jump of content, and then I end to have a review done um, for Cyberpunk 2077 by the end of December. And given the way that the game has handled itself, with particularly the developers and the um, the fact that they've basically been forced to work on the game, crunch time is horrific over there, I don't necessarily expect it to be a perfect review. Um, so, yeah. Aside from that, I'd like to thank all of you for sticking by me. I will be releasing a video, a Armored Warfare PvP video, funny enough, 
in about an hour or so when I finished encoding it. I do have my Adobe Premiere Pro back, so there will be the odd review. I hope to concentrate on premium tanks that have come out, the uh, ZTQ15 and the Stalker. I quite like those vehicles very much, so there is at least some hope towards Armor Warfare in that regard. But yes, the game has less fun and I don't really enjoy it as much as I used to anymore. So thanks for uh, watching through this everybody, and to take out there, and it's all December, hopefully we're all locked down out there, um, don't catch the virus, it's pretty nasty. So, bye.